Hey, welcome back. Sun shining for the first time, probably four days. Got over an inch of rain, which is not great, but field conditions are good enough to get out our brand new toy. Carbon Robotics is here doing some setup. Let's check it out. Alrighty, we're on site. Laser Weeder made it. Pretty cool to see it here. We're on the first field that we planted. This is on drip, a sandier soil. It's probably 90% of it in good shape compared to the other parts of our farm where you can't even walk on them. Plenty of weeds here to see. Uh, onions are poking but not all the way out. We missed our pre-emerge spray. Didn't expect them to pop out of the ground like they did over the weekend. Took a look at them Friday. Still had a ways to go. Thinking we were gonna spray Sunday or Monday and yeah, Sunday came and they were out. So no pre-emerge. Good thing we got this. <laughs> It's official, I'm in the club. Laser weeding. It even smells good. ran by Wi-Fi, so the operator has an iPad. I have an iPad. All the technicians around us have iPads. Watching the performance of the machine. It's learning a lot right now, and we're learning that it's picking up the pollen that's on the ground and shooting that. So that's affecting the kill that it's making on the weeds because the density is so high. Right now, the target speed is about 0.3 miles per hour, so pretty slow identifying the barley not shooting the barley I've only seen one hit so far that I've been watching on the barley well of course it's starting to rain it's still weed I guess up to a certain point in the rain we we'll go as long as we can to get as much uh, learning done with the machine so when we get over here in the onions it's all learned all right, well this lovely weather kicked back in and we're gonna head back to the shop. Let's go. Yeah, welcome. Here we are, out in the field. Slap, a slop, a slop, a slop, a slop, a slop, a slop. Oh, well, since we saw each other last, got about 2.2 inches of rain. Uh, it's been about mid 40s and overcast since then so the perfect conditions for shit conditions feels like last season's just kind of still hanging around with that crappy weather the last six months have been rain snow and rain again mother nature has not satisfied herself and wrung herself out yet so in a pretty pretty rough spot right now with planting we have two-thirds of our acres planted we have some ground that's worked and that's just 
complete slop and the rest of it is untouchable. Today's the 9th of May and usually if we had it our way we'd be done by the 10th of May. We're at least five good days of good weather from that point and then we need about two 16 hour days to slam in the last acres that we have planned to plant. None of that looks achievable right now so what happens is closer you get in May, middle of May, your variety selection has to change. You have to go with a shorter day onion and then you just physically flat out run out of days to plant onions for them to grow. I would say our cutoff is 18th. I would say that would be about where I would say, okay, this is not worth it. A lot of guessing going on right now. Checking out some pumps with our Patney Grosso farm. These lift stations that we put in, this is where they shine. You can see on the dish banks, the water level, where that was at. So if you were to have outlets in this ditch, water comes up. Those outlets aren't going to let water out. Where are these pumps? Force the water out. So you're constantly keeping the oxygen levels in the soil, keeping the saturation of the soil as low as you can. Can't do much about 2.2 inches of rain better than it could be. Rain's running the laser weeder on the upland that we started on the other day, making some more adjustments to that. They had to build us a new model to weed with because of the pollen that was on the ground. So that should speed it up drastically. It's probably the only 10 acres in New York State that's getting laser wet right now. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's go check it out. Coming up on the laser weeder now. This is one of our first passes with the laser weeder. So we're just going back through and hitting anything that was missed while the AI was learning our crop and weeds. Seems like they're still hitting a pretty good flush of weeds. Got it. So, so small. Can't believe it can see it. It's seeing onions that I can't see. This weeder covers about 14 onion rows. So it goes down about half of a bed. And I can see a huge difference between where it shot the other day and where it didn't shoot because it is not hitting this side of the bed. The weeds here are so small, it's hard to see it. If you're watching this channel, you believe that my word is gospel. So it's happening right in front of my eyes. Eden. All those blue lines are onions. The red boxes are barley and the X's are hits. Well, we're here in the cab with the implementation manager. Is that correct? Yeah. Leander. Everybody say hi. Good day. Uh, Leander's here from South Africa. This wasn't his path to get here, but this is where he is now, can you explain to us yeah. what you're doing? So, you probably saw in the video by now that the Sorbella just purchased a nice machine, the G2, that we are currently having and selling at the moment. So, yeah, it's just the future of farming. The whole motive behind this is getting away from any type of chemical and burning it. So that's definitely future thinking, getting our soil back to where it originally started from. What are you doing here today? Oh, well, for now we're just making sure that weeds are getting killed and onions stay <laughs> stay in place and don't kill any onions for now. But um, yeah, that's the whole motive today is just to make sure we config this machine and getting it all set up so that these guys can run it on their own and um, yeah, being comfortable with it. So this is like, this is probably your, not third full day, but you spent about three days with us Yep. working on models you know we started off with a model but 
we had to adapt it to what we're doing here on our farm. Exactly. So what we did is we basically did a data capturing, collect as much data as we're in the field to make sure that we can create something that's specific for this field and at the same time specific for for Sorbello themselves and um, yeah, just train the AI. So that's what this whole thing is about, getting as much time in the field to get as much information sent out towards the machine so it can read better and detect what is what is happening in the field for us. How does it use the what you captured and turn that into killing weeds? So it's basically, it works with a predict camera that is basically scanning your field. That collects images that's talking to the AI that's discerning and it between what is a weed and what is a crop. And then obviously through that, it's okay. Once it detected it is a crop, it will leave it alone. And then once it says, yeah, this is actually a weed, it will straight up fire it. So it's through all the predict camera talking, the image talking to the AI, and then out of the exit to fire. And that's what it basically does. So you will also see underneath your model, you have a bunch of modules and each one of them have a predict camera and two lasers on them. And it's between those two that communicate. So it's from the predict, catching the information, talking to the computer, and then exiting through the laser to shoot. And that's basically how it works. Much more, much more complicated. That's just a user-friendly <laughs> conversation. <laughs> that's that's uh, more than I know. Yeah, more than just uh, pressing start, going, and making sure that all the lights are on and need to be on. We've been told before our lights are on, but nobody's home. Appreciate you coming out, and we've had a good time killing weeds. Uh, we've, you know, done a lot of good. I think in the couple days that we've been together, and been. Really happy with the experience and service so far from Car Carbon Robotics. All right, Leander, get the f my tractor. I'm trying, but you're busy turning, so I'm going <laughs> to sit here until you're done turning. <laughs> oh. Uh. Well, we're out to our field where we're doing transplants. Got those in last week and done nothing but rain since then. We're out here trying to get something done, but uh, fortunately it started raining. Not the most productive way to do it. The poker made a mark, but it all kind of got slopped together because it's so sloppy. I think that's it for the week. Not much else to see here. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and we'll see y'all next week. Bye-bye.